Genomics is just at the beginning of how it impacts patients. We all have DNA. Our DNA is very similar, but yet a little different. People that have a particular disease may have a change, something that either they were born with or a change that happened as they develop as they've been living their lives that's caused a disease. It's just kind of like computer code. Something they never even look at is all of the so-called machine language, which is how the program talks to the computer. DNA is kind of like that machine language. It works with the cell to encode information. Information is passed from parents to children. If that information somehow gets scrambled, let's say too much time out in the sun and lots of UV light absorbed into the skin, causes mutations, damage to that code, then the cell can't do what it's supposed to do. What we can do with, with genomics, with DNA sequencing, is kind of go into those cells and find out that exact mutation. We can debug it. And then we can say, this is what happened. Here's what we should do. Here's why this particular cancer patient is different from that particular cancer patient. This patient would do really well on drug A, whereas all these other patients might get drug B. Think about decades and decades ago, if you fell and you hurt your arm before there were x-rays, you hurt your arm. Now we can use MRI, which is even better than x-ray. Genomics is just like that. It's getting down to sort of what we refer to as the root molecular cause behind most human diseases. With that information, just like debugging a software program, you can dial down to the root cause of the disease and you can better diagnose and treat.